Wow, um, look at this. So for the next three nights, just three, um, I've actually got somewhere to sleep uh, off the street. Uh, I can have a bath. Um, I don't know, I can actually uh, you know, wake up without someone walking through what would be my living room, which is obviously the outside of the street. Um, at the moment, obviously, it's only three nights just to get me out of the really cold weather. Um, I can't thank anyone enough. Um, Mayor, Caitlin, you guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, two of the most wonderful young women um, in Eastley. Along with everyone else I've met, you are all amazing. Seriously, guys, I cannot thank you for your support enough. It is only three nights. Don't get me wrong. I'm not jumping the gun thinking the world's changed dramatically or anything. Uh, I am still doing everything we've been discussing in the town. I am still working really hard. I will still be in the gym tomorrow. I am still going to try and sort things out, try and get the channel back up and running to the way it should be. Um, there is so much I want to accomplish with this channel. There's so much I want to accomplish with the brand. Um, still the illegal things have to take place. Still the same story has to go on. People still destroyed my life for no reason because they did not want to listen to the truth. This will still carry on. This will all still actually come to... Well, it'll come to the media, it'll come to light, it'll come to everything. I'm not backing off on anything. Um, so my man Junior, you know, he's, he's helped me out big time and he's one of the reasons, along with various other people, that I haven't frozen like because they come out with hot water bottles. They come out with everything to help me out. Um, I haven't ever had backing like this from anywhere in the world uh, that I've been. These people have just opened their arms, opened their hearts and done nothing but help me from day one. I cannot tell you how much it is appreciated, honestly. Um, you know, uh, I've never had a reception of people actually just going out of the way to be so nice. Not even in the hometown where I'm from. You know, uh, and over Hampshire could learn a lot from me, so I guarantee you that. Uh, so yeah, and uh, well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I've got to go and get some form sorted in that. This is just temporary for three nights. It's nothing other than just to be off the street for three nights. Believe it or not, it, it's a big thing. I've been on the street now for what three weeks. Um, actually living on the street properly um, and it's very very different I can promise you now the one thing I, w I am shocked by is the way the country treats its homeless um, things need to change a little bit uh, you know don't get me wrong I'm not being ungrateful for what I've got but uh, what I've experienced in the last couple of weeks is very very different than I would have expected uh, rather than getting political because it's not me I have got a very very different insight than probably most people um, I don't have mental health I'm not saying everyone at homeless does uh, but that's the way it's been looked at. Oh, you're homeless, you have mental health. No, I don't. Oh, you must have this. No, I don't. What I do have is an amazing group of people around me in this town who have reached out and helped me. And, uh, you know, they're all continuing to do so. And some of these people have come on board and helped me develop various things that really were in the mix for years. It was just things got in the way and other people didn't like it. So uh, no matter what happens, you know, this right here as you can see will continue OBG original big gorilla the brand and everything online will all continue there's just more of the story I was told to document my story from homeless to strength which is what I'm doing and those other people are part of this journey and they're going to be uh, they're going to be included as much as, as they want to and it's simple as that so anyway uh, as you can see I've just boiled a kettle I'm going to have a cup of tea and uh, some amazing food Brought to me by some real true friends in this town. Okay, so thank you very much, Caitlin Mayor. And um, yeah, listen, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow, Easley. I'm exhausted. I'm going to eat some food, have a cup of tea. I'm going to have a bath. An actual bath. I know, it's amazing. Isn't it? Anyway, I'll speak to you later, guys. Take care. Cheers.